What is up, gamers? It's your boy, The Goods, and we are here for episode number eight of our Undertale Let's Play. Would not be surprised if it was the last episode. Uh, I don't know exactly how long all this is going to take, uh, but it's okay, because I'm pretty sure there's like a 0% chance of beating any of the other games in the next couple weeks here. Um, I mean, at the time, I'm recording this like at the start of the month. Um... Just, you know what I mean? Like, I'm at the end of the game. I might as well finish playing it. Um, and if you've been following the channel, you know I do that shit. I record way in advance sometimes. Uh, where do I want to go this way? Oh, yeah, I gotta get the keys. That's right. In the last episode, we kicked the fuck out of Metaton. Okay, yeah, so I get the Worn Dagger. And the Heart Locket. Yeah, we, we took care of Metaton. I guess that's really all that matters. <coughs> a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Maybe I need the key. <coughs> Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Vicious amount of progress. <coughs> then, one day, the human became very ill. <coughs> the sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village. <coughs> but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. <coughs> Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. <coughs> with the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. <sighs> God. As we reached the center of the village, there he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh shit. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But, Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. <coughs> Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. <coughs> the kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. Humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we 
can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. God, man. Fuck, this game is good. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. <coughs> Fuck the bullshit. Dude, get me out of here. What do you want? <laughs> I left you back in the ice town, bro. You kept following me around and shit. What do you want? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. I mean... I feel like everyone I killed was either starting shit first, or I didn't have a choice. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave up to you. Alright. 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 Well, let's... Get right the fuck into it, I guess. Save the game. And... Time for the final boss. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. <clears throat> I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. <laughs> you know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. God, this game got so fucking serious, bro. God, this game got so serious. How tense. You just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Bro's about to bring the pain, bro. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. I don't have any healing items, by the way. Except for the, uh... The, 
I don't even know if I have the pie. I might have fucking eaten it like an idiot. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Now I'm gonna full send. I see. This is it then. Ready? <laughs> Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. Seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. No shit! No way! Asgore attacks! Oh, fuck that. Oh my god. Careful, I don't want to take that much damage. Fuck, I was so close to not taking any damage, bro. Yo, I'm scared. I'm moving on pretty good. like focus <laughs> you know what I mean like there's not a whole lot of room for error because I didn't bring any healing items so I just gotta I gotta lock in bro oh I, I fucked that up I like saw it happen too I definitely did. Oh, I might have put it in the box. Maybe that's my problem. I put it in the box. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely fucked. I'm gonna have to go get it out of the box somehow. Do it at the end, bro. Stop slipping. Bro, I keep... Is it because I'm, like, getting hit and that's when he's, like... Stopping? Maybe, I don't know. I feel like I can beat him. Fuck, that was pretty weak. I think I'm doing good, I think I'm doing good. Yo, can I make it though? Can I make it is the real question. I probably need like three more, right? Relatively easy one. No, we're good, we're good, we're good! Let's go, let's go! Oh my god, bro. Ugh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. 
Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Okay, man. I'll do it. I'll do it, bro. I'll do it. I'll do it, bro. I killed your wife. Wait, that's not me. That's not me. Wait. Bro. <laughs> so you finally get it. In this world, it's kill or be killed. No way. Wait, where did he come from? Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. This is the opening! One day, they all disappeared without a trace! Flowey, my world! Okay, let me save, though. Wait, wait whoa! Whoa! Bring me my save file back! Howdy! It's me, Flowey! Flowey the flower! I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help... He's dead! And I've got the human souls! <laughs> oh shit, bro. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. I can feel them wriggling. Ah, you're feeling left out, aren't ya? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show him all the real meaning of this world. Oh. And forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Bro. Wait. Wait a minute. What is that? Ew. What is going on, bro? Why are you so close to me? Ugh. Ew. What the fuck? Stay away. Stay away. Ah! Okay, as little damage as I've taken is honestly impressive, bro. I made it though, I made it, we're good. We're good. Yeah, making it to the first one's like the hardest part. God, I say struggling though, god damn. Call for help, help me! It's actually hard as shit, bro. Ah, give me all of that healing points. Who is that face? I got it, I got it, we're good. 
good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good! We're good. We made it, we made it, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Bro, I'm scared, bro. This is stressful. It's a high stress situation, bro. These are actually pretty easy. Okay, I say hitting them, though. There it is. I call for help, help me! I wanna get, like, there. That was not enough, that was not enough! Oh, I just get into it. Bet. Bet. Yeah, this is when it gets easy, low key. I told you to stop, bro. I asked you to stop nicely, too. It's cool. You don't have to start off from the beginning, though. And you're never waking up. <laughs> what happened to my game? What happened to my game, bro? What happened to my game? <laughs> Did you really think I was gonna be satisfied killing you only one time? It's cool though, because yeah, we're at the safe point. You can see his like little fucking like tubes are grayed out. <laughs> yeah, me when I'm actually peeking this game, bitch. Kill him. Ooh, kill him. I don't even know what to do. There we go. Here, we're good. We're good. We're good. As long as I can make it to the next stage, we're good. It's really not that hard. Doom, cruelty, trapped, nightmare, madness, murder, corrupt, despair, horror, cruelty, destroy, terror, trap, horror, doom. Help me! Help me! That's good enough. I can make it to the next zone. It's hard though. Go, there we go. I'm almost there, bro. I'm almost there. Oh, this this one is so hard to like get the healing items for. Fuck, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Bro! Good enough. <laughs> Imagine if you had to do it, like, you know, legitimately fight, like, four blocks at a fucking time. That'd be insane. Alright, last one, last one. Here we go. Here we go. Shit. Do 
This is another hard one. It's hard to, like, get the healing for. Not terrible. Actually, pretty good. <coughs> now, wait a minute. All my fellas, all my fellas, yo, yo, wait, yo, they're healing me, hope, flowers, eyeballs, bandages, whatever the last thing was, flowers defense dropped to zero, yeah, that's right, that's right, take that bitch, Legitimately worthless, bro. Can you maybe not spam that same attack over and over again? It's kind of difficult to counter in that spot. Like, I'm trying to hit the fight button. It's really hard to not get absolutely washed, bro. Ah! He hadn't lit this one out yet! Got him! I got him! He's done! He's finished! It's game over! No! No! This can't be happening! You! You! You idiot! Defeat me. I am the god of this world. And you, you're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, someone help! See what good it does you. Call for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Oh, fuck. It's a wrap, guys. Or is it? Or is it a wrap? What? How did you... Well, I'll just... Well... Where are my powers? The souls! What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Yo. Yo, wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute. Wait. Bro, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. A, a lot just happened. Hold on. Give me a fucking minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I 
think it's safe to say that Flowey is Azrael. I think this is the right thing to do. I really think the right thing to do is to put him out of his misery, bro. I re- I genu- Oh my fucking god. I knew you had it in you. Just a regular flower. <laughs> Chat, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm fucking speechless, bro. Ladies and gentle chat, Undertale by Toby Fox. Um, I've been playing this game since I was like 14. You know, I play it like maybe once or twice a year. <laughs> maybe maybe once every two years, actually. Um, I don't know. I play, I play it more times than your average person would play. Um, absolute masterpiece in terms of storytelling and message. Um, you know, it's, it's very fun, but it, it, it doesn't take itself too seriously, except when it's perfect too. And I think it is very perfect in doing so. Um... Kind of an open-ended ending there. Um, I think I did the right thing. I think I did it right. But there's one last thing that we have to do. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. Since you left, things down here are different. With Asgore gone, Undyne became the ruler of the underground. She's decided to destroy every human that comes here, and since the human souls disappeared, she's also looking for a new way to break the barrier. And when she does, she's gonna wage war on humanity. I mean, that was Asgore's plan too, but he was really, uh, bad at it. Undyne's also expanded the, expanded the royal guard massively. She says the first thing she'll do after we get out of here is take her army and personally hunt you down and destroy you. Meanwhile, I've been knocking on the door to the ruins. But that woman hasn't been answering me. Maybe she's not feeling well? Oh, no, oh, I feel so bad. Dude, I had to, I had to, bro. I had to. I had to. She would not let me leave. That woman was a psychopath, bro. I'm telling you. Hey, Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, just the human. Oh, cool. Wait, did you say the human? Can I talk to them? Sure, knock yourself out. Hey, Undyne's the Empress now. It's amazing. And she appointed me to be the most important royal position. That's it. That's literally the title. What do I do? She told me to, um, stand around and look cute. Well, that's the perfect job for me. I do that all the time without trying. Finally, I'm important, and it's all thanks to you, and the horrible things you did. Thank you, human. Come back and visit sometime. Wait, Undyne would probably kill you. But you get to see me, so you gotta risk it. You gotta! See you soon. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, yeah, okay, bad choices, bad choices all around. Um... Bad choices all around. That is the end of the game. 210 minutes and 26 seconds. Unless it's 210 hours, which is bullshit. Um, um, yeah. Thank you so much. And obviously the other games aren't done yet, so, uh... I guess Deltarune is next, because I'm not replaying it. I'm not doing another run of the game. Um, so Deltarune's up next. Um... Get excited! Uh, goodbye.